Uh, one of my subscribers wanted to know how I did my pictures in my last video. Well, I don't have access to Photoshop right now. Hopefully uh, GIMP will work uh, very similar. In fact, this is free open source software, so anybody can use it. All it's going to take up is hard drive space, so you're not out much. And to get the really neat effect of paintings or uh, illustrations, I use this uh, program called GMIC. And uh, again, free open source. So let's get started. Okay, let's. I'll open up a couple I just worked on. I'm going to go down to Open Recent. And I wanted to start out with this one. You'll get the basics of using it that way. Okay, here I've got a couple of butterflies on some flowers. Now the first thing I do, change this to an alpha channel. Right click, add alpha channel. And the bold lettering goes away. Now we duplicate that. And it's really up to you if you want to use the Curves or Levels tool to maybe bring out a little more color. And you can play with either one of these. It just shows you how much color and where. So I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. So let's look. This is before, after, a little darker. Click OK. Now we're going to duplicate this twice. In my last tutorial video, I told you how to rename these. I don't do that very often. Okay, we're going to start with this one. After you've got GMIC uh, installed on your computer, going to be in filters and GMIC. And the only thing I really don't like about GMIC, this preview window is rather small, can't do anything about it. So first click on artist and I usually start out with the uh, black and white pencil. And you'll get a preview of what that's going to look like. You can't tell, but right there's the butterfly. And I'm going to bring the amp amplitude down. I do want some pretty dark lines in there. Okay, that seems pretty good. In fact, a lot of my pictures, I don't even have to mess with these settings. And now it's going to do its thing to uh, render that. <laughs> and there we got something that looks kind of like a mess. <laughs> well, what I like to do is come over here to the layers mode. And I'll actually play with all of these. But I found for this technique, value works the best. And that kind of looks like a colored pencil diagram. Let me hide the uh, tools. And that's what it looks like. And actually the rock here is a little distracting. I'd probably want to uh, soften that a little bit, either blur it or uh, just uh, slightly erase it. But there's one more step we're going to do to this. This last layer. 
we're going to want to make that look like a painting. Oh yeah, I have tried this with the uh, regular filters on GIMP, and I have not got a filter I like that'll do this. So I'm glad I had GMIC uh, installed on this computer. Let's see, and we're going to go with the painting filter. Here you see the butterfly. Well, I want to get a little more detail in that butterfly, so I'm just going to take the smoothness, drag it down until I just barely get the detail in the wings. And the abstraction makes it too abstract. I can always bring this. Big thing is, the longest thing this will take is just playing with it to get what you want. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's click OK. And here we got a little different style. <laughs> Still not quite what I want. And, well, you come down here, change the layer mode to screen or overlay, hard light or soft light. Those are basically the same filters. But I like overlay. And you can always play with the opacity to get just what you want. Almost like the uh, opacity all the way up on both of those. Well, that adds a nice little depth to it. And let's take a look at it. Yeah, to me, that's a nice little illustration. So, uh, come over here, you can save as. Now, what I would recommend is from here to know what, I would save it as a GIMP file, and then I would uh, crop this to the size I want. Now let's say the photo place I'm going, it's four by six, four, oh wait, four colon six. We want fixed ratio. Now if you look here, you got the portrait. Well, I want landscape. So all that does is switch the numbers. That's one problem I have. I always put the numbers in backwards. Now, we just come in, crop what we want. <laughs> the guy I learned from calls this the inside out cropping. And that looks pretty good. You hit enter, and that's ready for a digital print. Okay, I'm going to close that out. Next picture. Okay, let me show you one that might take a little longer to work on. It takes. Okay, I'm going to open this. And this was one of my ancestors' home. It really uh, gave a cool effect doing this. So. Come in, right click, add alpha channel. I'm going to try to do this quickly, so I'm just going to make two copies. Now this one, filters, reshow, GMIC. Yeah, the biggest point I want to be careful of it's this lady right here. I don't want her too abstract. Yeah. Slipped on me. 
Okay, we're going to do uh, black and white pencil again. Let's reset the settings. I oh, don't quite like that. That's going to be a lot of cleanup. Too far. Too far. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's these squiggly lines that are that really give the picture character. So let's click OK. OK. Okay, here's the pencil sketch. We will have to clean up this stuff out here. But let's go ahead and work on the next one. Oh. Before I forget, do value. And we're getting some really nice texture in the ground here. Flowers are starting to look nice. Okay, top top picture. Filters. Reshow GMIC. Painting. Oops, <laughs> as you can see, I uh, was on the wrong layer. Okay, it didn't like that, so cancel. Guess it doesn't like changing layers. Reshow GMIC. Okay, now we're getting the uh, painting effect. Again, I want to make sure the person over here on the side isn't too far. <laughs> okay, we're getting some nice color in the trees. Okay, let's add Another abstraction layer. That's looking a little better. Okay, abstraction at three is too much, so we'll drop it back down. Click OK. Okay, as you can see, this is just the straight painting filter. In normal mode. Now we're going to go down, change it to overlay. And we got a lot of nice detail in the woodwork. Yeah, just all we have to do is clean up this little bit right up in here. And I found, just recently found a nice way to do that. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, fuzzy select tool and I'm just going to click, oh wait, I should show you. We have no problems up here in the paint layer. The problems up here in the uh, drawing layer. So what I'm going to do is just uh, use my wand. I found 10 is a lot better than 15 on threshold. 
click in there. When you push down the shift key, you get a little plus by the pointer. Control is minus, so I want a plus. And we're just going to keep adding colors. Okay, this is getting too slow, so I'm going to pop that up a little bit on threshold. Yeah, we'll want these areas fixed. Just holding down the shift key and clicking in the square. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all I'm going to do for now. We're going to Since we did the uh, selecting of the colors in this layer, we want to make sure we want to get rid of them on this layer. So I'm going to hit the delete key. And that wiped out all of them but a few of them. So select none. Pick the eraser tool. Gonna really pop it up for speed. And we can just come in here and erase what we don't need. And that's pretty much it. I hope you get some good at good out of this and if I can by uh, next week I should have the answer if you can do this in Photoshop or not so like always enjoy